Hello and welcome to the Flourishing Kitchen with your one and only Lady I Flourish. I want to take this opportunity to wish everyone here a very happy new year. We are winning on every side, especially in our eating. I believe we're all taking some giant steps into reducing the amount of carbs we take into our system. In today's video, I'm going to compare two power blenders. Yes, two power blenders. And um, I did this video some, some time back in the summer, but um, I just didn't have the time to do the editing. So yeah, here you are. And I think it's the right time, beginning of the new year. If you're contemplating buying yourself, you know, treating your kitchen with a power blender, then stay tuned to the end. I'm going to compare the Vitamix 310, uh, Vitamix Explorian 310 series and the um, Optimum 9200A second generation um, by Fruity. Okay, so I had heard a lot of news about uh, power blenders and I started the journey by using Ninja. It did the job. But after a year, I, I realized that it could only go as far as a year, especially the smallest one, which is the one that makes um, my, I use for my smoothies and it blends really smoothly. After a year, it started leaking. And so I thought, you know what, why don't I give it a go and uh, invest in a more powerful blender? Of course, the more powerful the blender is, the more expensive it is. So someone told me about the Vitamix blender and um, it became a, a dream blender, literally, because it's so expensive. Now, the basic, the most basic um, series among the Vitamix uh, range starts at 350 pounds. That's the most basic one. And uh, I just couldn't look at um, spending anything more than that on a blender. You know, we've always thought it's only a blender. It's only a blender. But I tell you what, not every blender is a blender. Uh, this is from a first person's perspective basically from my personal experience okay so that on the side i then came across this one optimum 9200 um in an advert where this blender was being used to crush stones and i'm like what blender and it's slightly cheaper about 100 pounds cheaper than the most basic vitamix um blender so what i thought to do was to um invest in these two like buy the two at the same time and then return one after 30 days if i'm not happy with it and that was the deal uh, the trick that I chose to use. So I went to Costco and bought the Explorian 310 series, which is the Vitamix. Um, and then I ordered the Optimum 9200 online. So they both came. And then I found this chart, which I'm just showing right now, on the Fruity website where they had compared. It's a comparison chart looking at the blades in each of the blenders. Um the speed capacity, the motor capacity and stuff like that. Warranty as well. If you're purchasing a power blender, one of the things you have to be conscious of is how long it takes or how long their warranty is basically in terms of how many years um, you can have the blender either replaced or checked or, you know, repaired for you if there was ever a problem. Because as I said, it's quite an investment compared to the price of an ordinary blender on the market. So, yes, this is me trying to um, get to use the the Optimum for the first time. I, when I opened it, I liked it. I ordered the red because it kind of matches my kitchen color scheme. Um, I like the cup as well, the jug, because it's 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 quite cute. Now, that is what puts me off of the Vitamix. That is me personally, because the Vitamix cap seemed uh, too wide. The mouth is too wide and it gets a bit too dirty when you put the stuff in. Like it's because it's so big, you have to load it with plenty stuff before 
it, it comes up in terms of the blending. And then when it blends, it kind of splatter everywhere inside the, the jug. So I didn't like it at first. Um, but unfortunately, I can't find the video for that trial session that I did with my Vitamix. However, I will still tell you my experience. So that was my first somewhat not very positive experience with the Vitamix. Indeed, me babe yemi smoothie, you know, with this, um, the, the fruity blender. If you just tuned in, this is Mama I Flourish. I'm going to make my smoothie right now. Please don't forget to subscribe by pressing the red subscribe. If your subscribe is red, it means you've not subscribed yet. Please don't forget to do that. As you can see, the bottom of the cap is fitted with some iron, some sort of iron metal. It's a, a kind of metal. I'm not sure what kind of metal is, but it's a metal like a pump pine beer tarea. Sana Vitamix and so add a DNA tier. The only difference is that the Vitamix has a black sort of metal and this is silvery. Apart from that, they work the same, literally. So I've got my smoothie mix, which I already prepared and froze in 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 my freezer i've got a video of how i prepare my smoothie mixes it makes life very easy for working people like us and so i'm placing in there my base uh, liquid which is um oat milk this time i use almond milk as well you can use coconut milk or whatever milk you prefer and in that bag of greens i've got about four different types of green leafy vegetables i've got some coconut chops i've got kiwi and then um what else have I got in there? I'm going to add some avocado chops from Tesco. You can get it from other grocery shops as well, but these are frozen pieces of avocado. It's easy uh, to go with it rather than, you know, getting the fresh ones and sometimes they get rotten. So that's what I use for my smoothie. Then I've got one lime that I'm going to squeeze the juice out of um, eventually when I finish. So I I blended it all and guess what? It came out so emulsified, like a hurubi, a womb. A, I don't know how to describe it, but I tell you, it is not the same as using a 24 pound or 30 pound blender to make a smoothie. I can say it hand on heart. The taste is even different. And you will thank me later if you try and invest in a blender like this. So um, with the texture of the smoothie, eventually what I got was the same as the texture that I had when I used the Vitamix. So that's tick number two for me. Um, in terms of um, the speed and how you manipulate it, this one has... This one is smart, so you just press on whether you want it to be fast or slow or you want it for a particular amount of seconds. The Vitamix Explorant, because remember I told you it's the most basic version of their series, it doesn't have the smart knob, so you have to actually turn it off and on when you you are ready. But with this one, you can give it a time and then it stops when you're doing other things. So this is my smoothie ready now. And as you saw, when you uh, try to run it, it, it comes with some tiny little bubbles in there. It's so sweet and uh, it makes all the difference in the taste. It, it You can, oh, heaven on earth, literally. Guys, if you've been following through up to this stage, thank you so much for being part of the team. Please consider subscribing so that you can get videos like these and more. So that was the first check for smoothness and that was just after 25 seconds of blending. You see how powerful it is? And then I put it back on there for an additional 30 seconds. So altogether 55 seconds, like close to just one minute, under one minute, you can have a smoothie as smooth as anything else. Try this and thank me later. So as you can see, I just squeezed um, my lime juice into the mixture and then I'm just serving myself. 
That's a glass full of goodness. Can you see the bubbles? The tiny little bubbles. It is so smooth to go down your throat. Try this and thank me later. That cup is full of so many nutrients and minerals. A, a cup of smoothie a day goes a long way to sustain our immune system and keep us, you know, um, full for longer, especially um, as we're trying to take our minds off the heavy, heavy dokunu benkuni and kunkunteni adie anopa ewia enumreno. Ye bet teso ni a ye smoothie. And then you just have your one meal a day and that should be able to sustain you and help you to keep the weight at bay. So finally, I decided to keep the Optimum Blender for three reasons. Number one, the blades of the Optimum Blender are six, whereas the Vitamix has four blades. Um, the shape of the jugs as well. I prefer the Optimum Jug because it's cuter and it looks slimmer, even though they are both two liters in terms of capacity. And then the smart key pass for the Optimum works really well for me because it means I can set my time for whatever I'm blending and then do other things without worrying about how to turn it back off. Um, so that's it really. Um, Yes, I love the color as well of the Optimum because it matches my scheme with the Vitamix. If you're looking to purchase that, remember, you can only get it in the black. So that's it from me for today. I hope you found it helpful for your next purchase of a power blender. Did you know that Rebecca, I flourish music official is up and running on youtube that's me so please go there and support your sister your mother your daughter to build something beautiful for the lord that's my music channel uh, already i have got two songs two new releases up and running right now on that channel and i'll plead with you to consider subscribing to that channel as well so that we can together build something beautiful for the gospel thank you so so much for staying with me and remember let your food be your medicine ciao i'm out of here